Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam81, and I'm coming back to you again. Um, this is about Jay Z. He has chosen to speak out to the New York Times um, ahead of the scheduled Super Bowl. And um, the article starts off by saying, as the world prepares to tune in to the uh, Super Bowl on Sunday, Jay Z spoke to the New York Times to discuss the controversial partnership he has established with the NFL last year. Jay's decision to do business with the NFL following the league's treatment of a uh, former 49ers, 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick was met with immense scrutiny as Kaepernick was famously blackballed from the NFL for kneeing during the national anthem in 2016 as a form of protest against police brutality. For this reason, Jay's NFL deal struck many as a form of betrayal. However, Jay reaffirms that he does indeed support Kaepernick, but that it's time to take some real action. No one is saying he hasn't been done wrong, he said. Um, he was done wrong. I would understand if it was three months ago, but it was three years ago. And someone needs to say, what do we do now? Because people are still dying, Jay plans to use the NFL's platform to draw attention to the issues of police brutality that Kaepernick stands for, regardless of how uh, unpopular it makes him. As long as real people are being hurt and marginalized and losing their families, family members, then yes, I can take a couple of rounds of negative press. Jay's partnership with the NFL centers on bringing music and social justice together, which uh, ignited at the last year's late-minute halftime show. Headliners Maroon 5 bombed, and they did bomb. Robert Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots and the chairman of the NFL media committee, reached out to Jay for help. The problem with the NFL is you all think that hip-hop is still a fad. When hip hop has been a dominant music form around the world for 20 years, Jay told him. Kraft then consulted the commissioner, Roger Goodell, and convinced him to meet with Jay, which led to the partnership between an NFL and Rock Nation. Jay and Rock Nation now holds immense influence over the league's music events, which notably the halftime show is a part of. One of this year's Super Bowls. Halftime performers Shakira is a Rock Nation client herself and will be joined by Jennifer Lopez during Sunday's event. Now, this is what I want to say initially. Initially, um, I did feel a sense of betrayal. I did feel like he just, you know, did like the NFL did and threw Kaepernick to, you know, the wayside. I felt like, you know, he wasn't honoring his brother that, you know, he said he rock with. And, um, you know, given some time and, you know, the conversations that have went on, I tend to take the stance of, you know, wait and see. Um, only time will tell um, how much influence he will use to bring issues to social justice police brutality is a uh is a problem in america and around the world also you know people have to be held accountable for the things that they do so um it'll be very interesting to see how this partnership um flows out how it moves and um i definitely will be doing another video on that but with that being said Please drop down in the comments. Please let me know how y'all feel about this. Please um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I want to give a special thank thanks to everyone that has su subscribed, everyone that has um, left a comment, whether it be good or bad. Um, they're all accepted. All